What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about the pros and cons of living in Olney, Maryland. Olney, Maryland is located in Montgomery County with a population of approximately 37,000 people. It's about 31 miles southwest of Baltimore and 19 miles north of Washington, DC. Once known as Mechanicsville, this small village of Olney became official in 1800. There are lots of great things about living in Olney and some cons, so let's get right to it. Let's just dive right in. And if you're thinking about moving to Olney or any place in Montgomery County, Maryland or DC, and you'd like our help, just send us an email. We'll set up a Zoom. We'll get you started. The first pro about living in Olney is that it has a real small town feel to it. The borders of Olney encompass an area that's about 13 square miles. Living in Olney has a suburban feel, but you're still not too far away from the big cities. Olney has a real sense of community and they have a lot of events throughout the year that support their local businesses. They also really love to pay tribute to their local police and firemen. People in Olney love that they feel that they're a bit secluded from DC and Baltimore, so they love that small town feel to it. My second pro about living in Olney, Maryland is that there are tons of things to do. If you like breweries like I do, there are several breweries up there. You've got Lone Oak Brewery where they host lots of fun events like trivia night, a cornhole tournament, and a lot more. You also have Brewbelly, a local owned bar and grill that has 24 craft beers, as well as lots of fun foods, such as sandwiches, salads, hot pretzels, cheesecakes, and more. You also have the African American Museum and Park. At the center of this park, it's Oakley Cabin, which was inhabited until 1976 and now serves as a historical museum for all to visit. The cabin sits on a two acre tract running along Reddy Branch. You can see a lot of wildlife along this trail, including foxes, deer, raccoons, and hawks. You also have a stone quarry nearby where they dig up the local stone. You also have Cherrywood Local Park, which has a basketball court, athletic field, and small pavilion. They recently upgraded their playground equipment, which makes it super fun for everybody to swing and play around on. Olney Square Neighborhood Park, which features two playgrounds, a large and small multi-purpose field and two tennis courts as well as a picnic shelter. You also have my favorite which is Only Winery. They have a unique business model that they outsource their grapes from all over the world and then ferment them here locally to create over 34 different wines. Their motto is we bring the world of wine to Maryland. You also have just a few miles away the Tridelphia Reservoir where they have picnicking, hiking, fishing, boating, bird watching, so many things to do. It's just a few miles away from Olney, Maryland. So that's just some of the fun things to do in and around Olney. I'm gonna put links to all of this stuff on my blog so you can check them out if you're living here or coming to visit. My next pro about living in Olney, Maryland is the commute slash location. If you have people that are working in Baltimore and DC, it's an easy commute for both people if you live in Olney. You got the ICC right there to take you to Baltimore and you've got 19 miles to get to DC. So for a household that has people working in those two areas, Olney is a superb choice to meet in the middle. Another reason people love living here is because you have a wide variety of restaurants to choose from right here locally in Olney. One of my favorites is Cava Meze in Olney. It's got a wide variety of Mediterranean dishes and it's super tasty. You also have mannequin beets, a Belgian bistro, sister sandwiches and such, Mama Lucia, and my kid's favorite, Chick-fil-A, and there's a lot more. So you don't have to go far if you're looking for a variety of different restaurants right here locally in Olney. So my next pro about living here is the weather. Here in Montgomery County, we get to experience all four seasons, which I love. You get those winter days with some snow, not too much, but enough that it's beautiful to look at and you can experience it and play around in it. In the fall, you get all the leaves changing colors. It's absolutely breathtaking. In the summer, you get those hot summer days and you're pretty close to a lot of different water sources. And in the spring, you get all the flowers blooming and you can take advantage of all these different hikes and trails that I mentioned before. Here in Olney, Maryland, you get all four seasons and it's really something spectacular to experience. Moving on to public schools. Sherwood High School is a public high school in Olney, Maryland with an A rating from niche.com. It was also ranked number 29 out of 224 schools 
for the best public high schools in the entire state of Maryland. Rosa Parks Middle School, which is located in Olney, also has an A rating from Niche.com and was ranked number seven for best public middle school for teachers in the state of Maryland. These rankings are all from 2022 and I will put all the links below so you can check them out for yourself. My next pro is diversity. According to citytistics.com, only ranks number 4,798 nationally, which is above the national average for diversity. And on a state level, it ranks 93, which is above the state average for the state of Maryland for diversity. My next pro, and then we'll get to some cons, is the economy. The unemployment rate in Olney is 5.7% and the U.S. average is 6%, so it's definitely lower than the U.S. average. Only jobs are increased by 8 tenths of a percent. My first con is that it is expensive to live in Olney. The average cost of living in Olney is higher than the state and national average. But I gotta tell you, it is expensive. I mean, it's just expensive to live in Montgomery County, but it is less expensive to live in Olney as far as housing than its sister cities of Rockville or North Bethesda or North Potomac. You do get more for your money out there. So it is still expensive. I don't want you to think you're coming here and it's not, but it's less expensive and you get more affordable housing than the cities that are closer into DC. According to niche.com, the median household income is approximately $143,000 and the median home value is approximately $507,000 which leads me right into my next con, which is the commute. Although it is convenient if you have one person working in Baltimore and one in DC, the commute to either place is still long. It'll take you about 35 minutes to get to DC and probably the same to get to Baltimore. Also, if you do use the ICC, which is very convenient to get to Baltimore, there are tolls. So it does add up if you're doing this commute twice a day, every day. So the commute is a pro if you want to go to both cities because you're kind of in the middle, but it's a con because there still is a large commute. So you will be in your car for long periods of time each day, especially during rush hour. So the bottom line about living in only Maryland is that it's got that small town feel and a great sense of community and lots of things to do locally, both with restaurants, wineries, breweries, and parks. But it is a bit of a commute to either DC or Baltimore, although it's nice to be in the middle of both. So you will be in your car and it is expensive, although less expensive, more affordable housing than the closer in cities such as Potomac, Rockville, Bethesda, North Potomac. So it's a great choice if you're thinking about moving to Montgomery County, Maryland, and you want that small town feel, and then you don't mind a bit of a commute, and you can have choices of more affordable housing. If you have any questions about anything I spoke about today, or anything about Maryland or DC, and you'd like our help possibly relocating here, just send us an email or a call or a text. We would love to help you make this move as seamless as possible. And if you did enjoy this video and you got some value at it, please consider subscribing, liking, and telling a friend. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm and motivates us to keep on making videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.